Hi Cancer, welcome to Wild Pearl Tarot and welcome to your May tarot reading. We're going to be asking the cards today what's coming towards you, what can you anticipate. Um, if you've never been to my channel before, hello. Um, at this channel I'm just completely dedicated to making you feel loved and supported by way of tarot and I'll always be super honest with you but I'll always have a loving slant. <laughs> All right, you guys, um, please hit the like button. It helps the channel so much. And the algorithms have been really funky with tarot Re recently. You've probably seen tarot readers make uh, announcements that um, a lot of our subscribers aren't getting notices. So please take that moment to hit the like button. It makes such a difference. Um, all right, getting into it. What's coming towards Cancer, May 2024? What's coming towards Cancer? Only taking the energies that... Okay, I see you. King of Pentacles. Do you have an earth sign in your midst? That volunteer for us. If you'd like for me to pray for you, send you my good juju and everybody else can too, say hi in the comment section so that we've got something that we can focus on that represents you. Only positivity allowed here. Draw on that with, with a line. Okay, so we have, okay, I'm gonna tell you right away, it's deep. <laughs> First glance, this is big, it's deep. First card out, strength card, okay? What I love about the strength card is it's talking about inner strength. This is like the type of strength it takes to be diplomatic in the face of um, challenge. You're definitely, you're on the precipice of something very different. The judgment card is here. This is a resurrection. This is like a glow up that is, is happening soon. You are almost preparing. You might be even preparing for travel but this is preparing yourself with new plans. And a lot of things go into this type of um, preparation, inspiration, gratitude, and opening one's mind. So in real world, what does that look like? Sometimes even watching a movie that inspires you, you know, um, getting back into a hobby that reminds you of childhood, thinking outside the box, doing things that remind you of being playful, that just, it's like, um, like loosening up, right? So that you, cause you know that you're getting ready for change. And so these little activities that inspire you, open your mind, it, it allows you space to welcome in new things. You at the heart of your reading, you've got all the intuition cards, the hermit card over here. My nose just started itching, that's a good sign but a sign that we should pay attention. The judgment card, you are really in tune with your intuition. So that means you're paying attention to the small details, the signs, the little nuances of how things feel. When things don't feel quite right, we don't usually feel them in our minds with logic. We feel them in a vibe with our gut. Sometimes we get a stomach ache. Um, we feel them in our emotions. Like all of a sudden it feels like a dark cloud just kind of moved over the sun. Or sometimes it feels like the sun just started shining through and warming us up. Those little things are your intuition talking to you, right? And your gut knows what has not happened yet, I like to say, and I like to think. Like our minds know what has already happened and they, based on that information and things that it's learned, it's going to try to calculate what your, what your future is gonna look like. You know, because us humans, we're always wondering and concerned. What are we walking into? Our gut knows that which we haven't experienced. So paying attention, you're gonna be very dialed in. Kudos. Three of Swords. This is heartbreak. This is something hard that um, one has experienced. And um, I'm gonna get into that in a moment. We have uh, the King of Pentacles that was just begging for my attention when I was, I was like sticking there, right there, like, look at me. I don't know if that person is like that, but they certainly came through like that in your reading can be an earth sign doesn't have to be the king of pentacles is um not in their fields they're like they can be really um when everything is healthy between a king of pentacles and a water sign a cup sign um it can be really grounding they can be really helpful uh taurus capricorn and virgos can because they're looking at the black and white of things kind of the they're organized and structured and uh so anyway they're coming through in your reading we're gonna find out why Hermit card. This is another deep wisdom card. This is going within for those answers. So you can ask for advice from others, but really you're going to follow what feels right for you. And I love that these cards flew out for you, by the way, because it means that you're in alignment with that wisdom. 
Okay, so, and naturally, we have that strength card that flew out. So this is like almost the anatomy of the strength card, uh, the anatomy of the situation. A card for strength, please, to clarify. Yeah, going forward, the strength is really going to pop out in moments you feel overwhelmed. That's where, in, or, or reprioritizing, this could even be scheduling, being really busy, um, and trying to kind of keep all those plates in the air. That is going to be where you get a draw upon all this wisdom of the hermit, of the um, intuitive high priestess. The two of wands, looking for, oh, this is money. Okay. Value. This could be literal money. You're getting money. And you're also, you're, you're geared for it. You're ready for it when it comes because you've already been looking out, looking at your skill set is represented by the earth that he's holding and looking out at what you're capable of and ready for it, ready for whatever is coming across that water. And again, this could be travel connected to it, but money is coming. Awesome. Who doesn't want another card on that? We all want another card on that. We want, all want two other cards on that. What's this seven of... Okay, so I feel like I almost need to say, have faith. You are exactly where you need to be, even when you feel a doubt. And even if you feel like you're losing that battle some days and you feel a little insecure or your confidence takes like a whoop, a dip, the karmic card of the wheel is a stroke of good luck that wheel turns and it's bringing something really wonderful your way. Just like this water is bringing something really wonderful your way. Just like this Ace of Pentacles is the something that is on its way. But you in the middle of, of it all, you're having moments of doubt where you don't feel like you're king of the mountain and you're fighting off all of those doubts popping up, either other people's or your own. Some days you feel like you may fall off that mountain. This is me saying, hey, you are exactly where you're supposed to be at the right time. And this is something really good coming towards you. And what's coming towards you is a huge life change. So the judgment card is not subtle. It's resurrection. It's like, there's a lot of drama in this card. There's these people climbing up out of their graves, answering the trumpet call of an angel. I mean, there's a scene here and it's that rise of the Phoenix. So what is this for my cancers? You're coming out of scarcity. You're coming out of poverty. You're, this feels like it's money and abundance, but it's so soulful. It's so, it's very spiritual and soulful for a money reading. So this is, this is definitely touching on something deeper than money. This is a more self value, what you tell yourself, what your worth is, um, what it's like, um, what is your philo your inner philosophy uh, and your mindset around abundance type of thing? You're getting this huge resurrection. I love it. High priestess energy. High priestess energy. What do we need to know about your intuition? Flipping. Ah, flipping is this lover's card. Harmony and peace. Also decision making maybe around another. And we have your independence card. Woohoo. This is the one that flew. The other one flipped. It wanted me to know about it but this is what fly, flew. And so this is the nine of pentacles, which is like, you're being guided by your intuition in a very independent fashion of what to do with this money, how to receive it. It's a very personal thing for you. Um, the, the lover's card is a great sign that you do have support and that I feel like it's in the periphery. Uh, three of swords. Fret not, my dears. Three of Swords, this disappointment, this upset might have been like an opportunity that you felt you lost. Maybe it was um, something that was just going so slowly. You're waiting and waiting around. Um, it's coming through. You got another Ace, and this is the Ace of Wands. This is passion. This is like a passion project. There's usually action required with the um, Ace of Wands. Um, this is coming out with King of Cups, and I'm reading that as your energy. Um, it's like, it's funny because nobody really wants to hear, oh, what hurt your heart or what disappointed you? It was worth it. There's a, a le we all learn lessons from those. Like, you don't really want to hear that when you're feeling it and when you're in the throes of that feeling. Um, 
there is something about the hangman energy. This is ruled by Pisces and it's slow. And there's a very important perspective you're supposed to get, but it comes at a sacrifice. And this is a very quietly loud card. And the reason he is hanging out upside down, because he's doing it out of sheer will, it's his decision in this card to hang upside down, is because he realizes that's what's required in order to see an important perspective of a situation. So something about this Three of Swords, this disappointment, and for some of you guys, there could even be third party energy. I'm not so much reading that, but it is it is very possible. There is something really important. You had a sacrifice, basically, you, to get this perspective. The perspective is the gift. There's a gift in this. I'm gonna open up a new deck because we've used so many cards. Tell me about this King of Pentacles. Why is this King of Pentacles so adamantly wanting attention in the Cancer reading? Who's this King of Pentacles? This is the Judgment card, the Stuckness. Stuckness is an illusion in this case. The Eight of Swords, you can, this person or you, you know, rules can be reversed, but whoever this stuck energy is, they're releasing themselves. Big, bigly. <laughs> I hate that I just quoted Trump. But they're releasing themselves from the stuck position. And there's something really, really special around the corner. So the Eight of Swords, it is, um, it's kind of a thought patterns that keep us stuck. It's like a disillusionment in our lives, you know, things that we tell ourselves that keep us stuck. And we can take this blindfold off at any point. We can walk out from all of those swords. And boy, are, is this person walking out because we have um, the Page of Cups, which is miracle energy. What you don't see, what's, this is what's kind of hidden, is that there's like this beautiful responsible energy. It could be a family member or it could be a friend or it could be another earth sign shoot it could even be them they're in they're okay all right you guys putting that back in it seems like it could be a friend there's going to be celebrations there's positivity there's support there but they're hanging in the they're kind of in the background in the periphery they're quiet i don't think they're talking um they're kind of in the dark um there's a couple ways i can actually read this energy there's healing here and a new journey, learning something. You've got Page of Pentacles three times in your reading so far. And Page of Pentacles is this kind of, um, it's an energy that is youthful. So there could be a child involved, but it's an energy about around learning something, getting over a learning curve. Sometimes that learning curve is within relationships, understanding relationships and another person, how they work, how, they, how to communicate with them, therapy, Sometimes it's skill sets and all that. You have um, the the King of Pentacles is somebody who is very much black and white, thinks about money, is good, good with money, good about investments. You know, their security and their investments usually come before relationships. And um, I feel like you're getting out from under something here. Um, I think that there's this really beautiful silver lining to something you've been going through. And you may be surprised with a quiet entity here who is going to be a friend, who is, there's going to be celebration. There's, I mean, celebration could be even just like going out for drinks or something because there's this brand new journey. There's healing and a brand new journey for you. So what this really looks like, you guys, and I know I'm getting very specific, but it looks like you're getting unstuck and feeling so blessed. And you have the support and the help of this, this person. Um, and some of that is like learning something, training, uh, getting help you need in something and it could even be and this is where it gets goes from possibly business to relationship it could be self-help um but there is a very big self-help aspect to this reading that is even jumping into financial so let me say that in a better way this is the 
your reading is a conjunction between self value and monetary value. The fool. One card for the cool fool. The cool fool. Six of wands, baby. Success. You are successfully on the road to a new venture and you're getting unstuck learning some lessons but like this perspective came out of sacrifice but really special and your intuition is on point wowie all right you guys please hit that like button if this resonated say hi in the comment section i'm happy to send you my good juju and take good care of yourselves